Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to learn the cheat gainer inside of your house using household items. But you gotta focus. So why the cheat gainer? Because the cheat gainer is a gateway flip. You learn the cheat gainer, it unlocks doors for learning the backflip, right? I think it's a good prerequisite for the backflip because it's a little less scary in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinions. Also, it's a good gateway flip for learning like the cork and other kicking, tricking flips. First things first, get a mattress, put it on the floor. If you don't have a mattress or you're not allowed to use a mattress, you can either break the rules and use one anyways, or you can maybe build some couch cushions or stack some blankets on top of each other. Just build like kind of a soft, landing pad like this. Pick one foot to jump off of and one foot to kick with. For me, I like to jump off of my left foot and kick with my right, so I like this. After you determine the foot you wanna jump and kick with, you're gonna square up with your mattress. Because I, I kick with my left foot, I'm gonna be facing backwards to the mattress. My left foot is gonna to be towards uh, the outside of the mattress, okay? If I kick with my right foot, I would be over on this side because when I kick with my left foot, I'm not really gonna go uh, over there when we do this next exercise what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fall backwards on a little bit of an angle So I'm just making sure I fall onto my mattress now. This is the fun part. You're gonna build your apparatus here a couple of couch cushions Maybe a poop. You're gonna put it right there like this now The key point about this one is we're gonna be having this a little bit under waist high Okay about at the bottom of your buttocks your, your butt your butt cheek this is gonna help you get over that fear of going backwards for the cheat gainer. Heck, maybe even the backflip, okay? Kick up with the kicking leg like this, and you're gonna roll back onto your apparatus, testing it, okay? It's gonna look kinda of janky at first. If you're jumping off of your left leg, you're gonna have your left hand over your head. You're, you're gonna bend it like this on the elbow, okay? Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this. Boom. Do you see that? That gets you right over that fear. And that is why you want your apparatus at the bottom butt cheek height, because it helps you roll on it. So I go like this, I kick up, and I throw my elbow up over my head, and I basically land on it backwards. You can get a little bit more speed into this if you want to. Thrust a little bit more. And try to like start jumping off the foot and kicking a little bit. This is gonna be more of like a trust your trust your trusty friend here exercise, okay? You're not gonna get the most height, but it's gonna get you used to going upside down and inverting. Now, as we continue to make our obstacle lower and lower, what you can do is you can get more aggressive like this. A kick. Boom. So look at this, guys. The makaku, all I'm doing is I'm sitting into like a bridge position. I'm taking my hand like this. Because I was using my left elbow, I'm using my left hand. I'm gonna rotate it like this, so it's facing inwards that way. Then I'm gonna kick this one up, go up and over. Facing in on the mattress, kick up, over like that. The point where you're doing your makaku, which for me was right here, is the point I wanna end up with on this next little step, the J step, okay? The first foot you're gonna put out is your kicking foot. So that was my right foot. Then my jumping foot, my left one and then I'm gonna kick through like that and do the makaku again. So square up, one, two, makaku. You can start to do this on your mattress and start to lighten up on the makaku. Ready? So you, you go one to this corner. One, two. Notice how I'm not even going all the way upside down sometimes. That's how to break through the fear. You can even work at this so slow you can evolve this move from just like a fairy twiddle twist into like a cheat gainer if you just go like this, step out, up, 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 and then just keep leaning more and more back as you kick this leg. The key to doing the cheat gainer is when you kick your kicking leg, you wanna lean back into it. You start to go more and more. Whoa! And then you can go for it on the side landing on your mattress. When it comes to learning this flip on the ground, um, inside the house, you know, just make sure the ceiling is high enough. Reach your hands up there, cool. <laughs> put your hands up, arm motion now, okay? When you put the kicking leg out, you put your arms out too. Then when you step off the jumping leg, you kick, cock those arms back, okay, to get you pumped. When I do kick, I throw my arms up too to give me extra momentum. <sighs> when you do go to the ground, if you wanna practice a few jumps, that's how you do it. You know, just make sure your ceiling's high enough. Out back 
and then jump and kick. And try to time the jump and the kick with the arms swinging back and up to give you the lift. And then you can tie that into the makako on the ground. You can start this, you know, from scratch. So out, back, up, like that. Out, back, up. And you can slowly start to lighten up that way or you can do it like this. Out, back, twiddle 360. Out, back, and slowly lean back more and more and throw your arms back and kick over the shoulder more and more. Now on the cheat gainer, you land on the kicking foot followed by the landing foot. If you wanna do a full gainer, you land on the foot you jumped off of. I'm not doing a full gainer in here because I almost hit the ceiling, or at least I felt like that. Actually, I clipped the fan, which is right there. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a little baby, okay? I'm a sissy. So keep working on that until you get more over and over. You start leaning back more and more until you start going over that shoulder, all right? Opposite shoulder as the kicking leg. Throw those arms over it like that as well. All right, once you get it real good, you can go you know, fully back if you want to. All right, but a cheek gainer, you know, most people go to the side and land on the foot that they kick off of. Keep going until you land it. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more flips coming. We're gonna learn more flips on the inside of the house. If you guys are looking to stay in shape during these cold winter months, check out my bodyweight training program, Bodyweight Beast, onlykindsfitness.com. It's a 12 week calisthenics program that's using your body weight only. Getting a lot of good feedback on that. Thank you guys so much for the feedback and all of your support. Peace, I'll see you all in the next video.